Let's talk about the ancient past for a moment, because in the days well before the Ice Age and during the Age of Dinosaurs, there were certain apex predators that could full tilt just about take on anyone within their ecosystems and likely would be able to take on foes from others. In the waters of the ancient world, though, there was one that stood above all others, and that was the Megalodon. A shark so feared that even to this day we can't agree on how big or scary that it actually was. So can there really be things more frightening than that? Well yes, here now are 20 sea monsters that are scarier than the Megalodon. Number 20. Mosasaurus We'll begin with an ancient creature that many of you are likely to be familiar with if you happen to watch a major box office hit some years back, simply known as Jurassic World. Yes, I know that the next two films weren't exactly the greatest, but hey, <laughs> we'll always have the first one to remember various things, which includes a key creature that I'm going to talk about now. Because in that movie, there was a scene where a giant aquatic creature goes and rushes out of the water in order to eat some fish in front of a cheering crowd. That wasn't indeed Mosasaurus, and it was something that absolutely could rival the Megalodon in terms of fierceness and intensity, because in the minds of many, it was the apex predator of the oceans in which it roamed, and not the shark. Obviously, there's some debate about that, and if you're curious, this particular behemoth ruled around 65 and a half million years ago, if not even further back in time, which makes it very old and something that we should be glad only resides in the history books today. The reason for that statement was that it was a creature that had evolved in such a way that it would be perfect to swim through the ancient waters of the world and devour just about everything in sight. So massive shark versus the lizard? The lizard may just have it. May, I say. Even Megalodon was afraid of this creature. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Frilled Shark now I'm going from one ancient shark to another one. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Often referred to as the living fossil, the frilled shark is a special shark that doesn't resemble many of the species of shark that live in the oceans today, and that makes it both unique and terrifying, even when you compare it to the megalodon. But what makes it so special? Well, first, it does not have many of the standard features a shark is known for, such as not having a large dorsal fin, but rather it has numerous fins on its side and the bottom of its body. Its skin also looks very rugged and worn, which may have likened it to certain types of eels. In fact, the frilled shark has been compared to an eel a lot because of its length and movement capabilities, which is appropriate given that it's only about 6.6 .6 feet long at maximum. Now, if you want to witness one of these special sharks up close, you're going to need to go 5,000 feet below sea level in certain parts of the ocean, like the Atlantic and Pacific, though some reports have it close to the surface in other areas such as the Suruga Bay in Japan, but why would you want to check out this shark given all that I've said and shown? It's definitely beyond me. In fact, you'd actually be one of the lucky ones to see it because it often doesn't come up to meet anyone on the surface. So it's really much more scary than the Megalodon. It's all about perspective. Sometimes being different is more terrifying, and this thing is definitely different. Number 18. Blue Whale Considering that sharks and whales typically don't go together, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a dumb pick, but there are certain things that can't be ignored about the blue whale, including the fact that it's the biggest animal in the world today. Though there's a lot of debate about just how big that it could actually get, because originally the thought was that it was around 100 feet in length, if not longer, but after some more accurate measurements, it seemed to be more like 90. The rub there is that this means the blue whale is actually 30 feet larger than Megalodon at its accepted measurements, and there are some who think that the ancient shark was much bigger, but fossil records put it at about 60 feet at max. 
So that's close enough to cause the Megalodon to at least be cautious around this big beast. Plus, while the Megalodon is big and strong, the blue whale has girth and weighs about 200 tons, well more than the shark. But that would just make it more of a meal, you might say. And that's definitely an option considering what the shark is known to have done. But there is such a thing as too much of a meal. The Megalodon was known to eat a ton or two a day, meaning that if it did try to eat the whale, it'd be done for in a few bites. Not very efficient at all. Plus, blue whales live in pods, so it'd have to pick one off instead of doing a direct assault. And that doesn't sound very shark-like now, does it? Number 17. Goblin Shark well, the last shark I showed you had a bit of an ambiguous nature to it in terms of whether it was actually more scary than the Megalodon, but this one, well, yes, this is one that would very easily fit into a horror movie. I'm talking about the Goblin Shark, also sometimes referred to as the Vampire Shark. And scarily enough, this is another living fossil of the old world, which honestly is terrifying in its own right because that means that this one has been existing for millions of years and even nature can't kill it off. Now, if you were to ask me to pick out one thing in order to ensure that it's scarier than the Megalodon, well, that would have to be in how it looks and how it eats its prey. I know those are two things, but get over it. You see that elongated nose? Well, that's full of electromagnetic sensors, which can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. And when it does find food, it'll not only lock in on it, it actually extends its mouth from its body and then chomps down on its foe. Yes, this this is the xenomorph of the deep sea, and remember that this was around long before the idea of the Alien franchise came about. On average, the goblin or vampire shark is said to be around 10 feet long, but because of their rarity and the fact that they live in the Mariana Trench, they could potentially be much larger, and as we all know, the bigger they are, the scarier they are. Make no mistake though, the Megalodon is a terrifying shark no matter what, but this is one that will actually make you scream in terror as it its mouth comes towards you, and that might honestly be a fate that's worse than death. Number 16. Stonefish now, if I were to tell you that our next stop on this tour of the ocean's past and present would take you to Australia, you would likely feel very nice and safe in that knowledge. You wouldn't think their beautiful waters would be full of deadly creatures, but I mean, it's Australia, home of great food, coral reefs, incredible landmarks. Yeah, both in the past and the present, there are terrifying things that you need to avoid in the waters there, and the stonefish is one of them. One of the easiest reasons this fish is so dangerous is that they prefer to lay low and camouflage themselves within their surroundings, making it easy to accidentally provoke it and then get stung by it. The poison of the stonefish is so strong that people are known to beg for limbs to be cut off just in order to stop the pain from happening. And it could kill you if an antidote is not administered. The Megalodon is scary, but it will honestly give you a fast death. However, actually wanting to lose a limb just because of poison from an animal you touched? Well, that's another level of fear altogether. Plus, it really loves to camouflage itself. Not making a move until something steps on it, it's going to strike with its 13 poison-filled spines. Just looking at them is enough to make you shiver. Equally as bad, the stonefish prefers very shallow waters, thus making them very likely to be found by people who happen to go to the same spots to fish in. That makes another key difference between this fish and the shark, as the megalodon was said to only go to the shore to possibly nest based on fossil records. However, the stonefish actually lives in the tropical waters of Australia and beyond. So yes, it's not something that you want to end up dealing with. Number 15. Deep Sea Dragonfish Sometimes to get your food, you have to be clever, and when it comes to the deep sea dragonfish, it most definitely is clever, and that makes it very, very terrifying. When comparing it to our shark friend, it definitely has it beat in one area, that being size. The deep sea dragonfish only grows to about six inches tall, which to some would make it a lot less scary, but there's a catch here. They're made to survive well and truly. This is a fish that has made many tricks to use uh, to get its food. For example, 
example, like many creatures in the trench, deep sea dragonfish are bioluminescent. If you don't know that term, it means that they can emit light within their body. For the deep sea dragonfish though, it glows pure red, and scientists are actually baffled as to why. Furthermore, the deep sea dragonfish will use its bioluminescence and its red glowing ability in order to communicate with others like it, or even to camouflage with its surrounding environments. That makes it a tactical predator, and a prey that's hard to catch. Now we'll talk about its hunting tactics. Not unlike certain other fish, the deep sea dragonfish has a protrusion, and it'll use it to touch other fish. This fish will think that they've found something to eat, but the reverse is actually true. The dragonfish is going to lunge out with blinding speed and get its meal, and then go back into hiding. And so it's a fish that knows how to hunt incredibly well, and glows red for good measure. That's definitely something to be scared of. This comparison is very much one of a brute versus an assassin, and while brutes can be scary, it's the assassins that you'll learn to fear. Number 14. Atlantic Wolffish now I'm honestly excited to talk about something like a wolf fish, because if you think about it, that means that someone named this fish because it reminded them of a wolf, and wolves are awesome and misunderstood, so that means it might be intense but not exactly terrifying, right? Well, no, we're not that fortunate. Because truth be told, it's a fish that goes by many different names, each equally as frightening as the last. Those being devilfish, wolf eel, Atlantic catfish, sea wolf, ocean catfish, sea cat, and more. Although I'm not really sure how the fish would feel about not just these names, but being called a dog and a cat by different people. Getting to why it's scary though, that would be its teeth. They are sharp and protrude right out of the mouth, so you don't have to guess too hard as to why this scares a lot of people. What's more, they can actually grow to be about 6 feet long and weigh about 50 pounds, so it does have bulk to back up its bite. Now, yes, speaking on a full comparison level, the Megalodon has bulk, power, and much more teeth than the Atlantic Wolffish, so that should get it the check mark, and in many ways it does. But when you look at the pictures of the Atlantic Wolffish, there's an intimidation factor here despite its smaller size. In the end, you can decide whether it's worth comparing the creatures or not. Number 13. The Fangtooth now there are a lot of things that make the fangtooth truly scary despite it not exactly being something that humans should fear. After all, they only grow to be 7 inches long. But make no mistake, these are creatures that aren't afraid to go after prey and literally sink their teeth into them in order to make their meal. Just look at that lower jaw. It's got plenty of little teeth that look like spikes, and then the big one that looks like a freaking hook. Just as terrifying though is that it's incredibly intelligent, so much so that it will rest in the deep for most of the day, and then at night, when it knows that prey isn't going to be expecting to be caught, it's going to lash out and grab them without much issues. Plus, if you look at their whole bodies, they're jet black, and that means they have an intimidation factor on their side that can't be ignored. Not to mention, they have to be clever and calculating in terms of their hunting habits because they live in the depths of the ocean, 16,000 feet at times. If they weren't able to live there, they'd be wiped out. So the fact is, this 7 inch fish has become something that people fear, so it makes it special. And you won't have to actively worry about this fish killing you, but would you want to find that in your boat or on the end of a fishing line? I didn't think so. Number 12. Anglerfish the anglerfish is one that I very much loathe to talk about, not the least of which is that I wouldn't even hesitate to tell you the thing is scarier than the megalodon. It's true, it is, and at points there's honestly no refuting that. Because while the megalodon is a massive shark from history that needs to be appreciated on some level, the anglerfish is a terror of the modern world that we should all be grateful that it rarely, if ever, graces the surface of the waters. But let's get into why this thing is well and truly terrifying. That would be its hunting habits. In the midnight zone and below in the oceans, which are inhabited by many terrifying creatures and is bereft of sunlight, the anglerfish uses its protrusion to emit a light out into the darkness. As you may have guessed, this is bad for the fish of the water because this is a very obvious trap. 
However, the fish don't get that, so they go and swim over to the light to see what it is, and as they examine the light like a moth to a flame, the angler fish comes in and eats them full stop. That's terrifying, efficient, and a dangerous mix. Plus, have you actually looked at this thing? Yes, the Megalodon has big shark energy, but the anglerfish looks like the freaking devil. In fact, others have named it the Sea Devil, and I don't really blame them for that at all. However, if you're still not sold on it, I've got you covered. Every main anglerfish that you see in the world or on camera is 99% of the time going to be female. But why? Because the females are much bigger than the males, by a freaking huge margin. So when they want to mate, the males literally fuse with the females in a parasitic way, and there are no words for how wrong that is. Number 11. Giant Squids Now I'll talk about a terror of the deep that has indeed inspired many a legend about itself, both accurate and not, and it's also very much a terror of the depths even to this day. This is the tale of the giant squid. But there's a lot of irony with this creature, to be clear, as these are creatures that, despite us having known about them for decades and centuries, we don't exactly have the book filled out on them just yet. Even their size is a mystery at points, as many scientists believe they average around 40 feet in length. But others feel that because they live at massive depths in the ocean, they could be much larger than that. But nobody knows, and that's terrifying to think about, because a 40-foot squid is pretty massive. So now there might even be a larger one that's not named the Kraken. It's freaky stuff. This leads to why it might be the reason that it's so terrifying. If you were in the ocean, you'd see the Megalodon coming, and sure, you might not be able to avoid it, but then you'd see it come in with its girth. With the giant squid, though, it could sneak up on you with a cloud of ink or even grab you with its tentacles and drag you down or apparently bite you to death with its beak, which they absolutely do have. It's not very cool, but it is very terrifying. Number 10. Japanese Spider Crab Sometimes size really does matter, and that size can absolutely be able to name you as one of the more terrifying creatures in the ocean that just so happens to be a spider and a crab all in one. In context, the Japanese spider crab is the longest crab in existence right now, because if you do find one and spread out its legs, you're going to see that it can be about 12 feet in total length. Just think about that. That means that its legs combined with its body are twice the size of a tall human. In fact, one of the first ones ever found was so big that they named it Crabzilla. What's more, because of where they are in Japan, you can honestly find one within a few hundred feet of a beach. So is this scarier than a Megalodon? Well, anything that has to do with spiders is usually terrifying, and I wouldn't want to meet this one while diving closer to the shores of Japan. Number 9. Barrel Eye Fish Sometimes being terrifying is just about having a look that no one can match or is so unexplainable that it's creepy. The barrel eye fish meets all of those requirements bar none. Because if you look at this fish from the deeper parts of the ocean, you're going to notice something very quickly. You can see into its head. Yes, really, it has a transparent head and green orbs for eyes that look up through its head. There are so many questions that need to be asked here, and the biggest one is, why? Allegedly, it's because the fish is trying to use the light that is within the depths that it's in to spot predators. Others think that it's used to try and spy predators from above before they reach the fish. But either way, and no matter what, it's still very freaky. Number 8. Dumbo Octopus the Dumbo octopus is a funnily named creature that hides much more than you would think. The species of octopus is the deepest dwelling octopus that is currently known, and that's a big deal. It's also a very rare one to find out in the depths due to where it lives. As for the name of the creature, though, it has floppy ears on its body, which its discoverer likened to the Disney elephant Dumbo, who had a similar condition. To protect themselves from predators, they not only inflate their sizes, but also change color to blend into the environment. Some very useful tactics, no doubt. But what's the scariest thing about them is when they decide to eat their prey. They just straight up eat them whole. So that is no doubt like the Megalodon in certain ways. I don't recommend you calling this entity Dumbo, though, to its face, because it might end up being the last thing that you do. Number 7. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish 
Believe it or not, there are over 40 species of the hatchet fish, and each of them have very shiny scales that often make them look metallic from the various angles that you see them. The twist is that they're small, as they max out at about 6 inches, but they do look like a hatchet, and that can't be denied. Now we'll talk about their defense mechanism. The skin will have the light bounce off of it and make it so that predators see things that aren't there, and thus they end up staying away. Or perhaps they think that they know where the hatchet fish is and strike in the wrong spot. That's a trick that I'm sure the Megalodon wished that it had back in its time, but sadly for it, it did not. And we should all honestly be grateful for that. Number 6. Zombie Worms now, don't freak out, but I'm going to talk about things that are known as zombie worms. But don't fear the apocalypse just yet. We have at least a little more time before that happens, I hope. First and foremost, despite the name, these worms don't go after brains, because if they did, nobody would ever go into the water again. Rather, these parasites love to eat bones. Or more accurately, they desire what's inside of the bones. So after they dig through the flesh to get to the bones, they then spew an acid that'll dissolve the bones, and they can get to the chewy insides. Mmm, delicious. They're picky eaters, and that's terrifying. Oh, and remember the uh, male-female dynamic of the anglerfish? Well, these worms have them beat because the males are so microscopic that they actually live inside of the females. Sometimes hundreds of males per one female. Number 5. Leopleurodon Now for a creature that was said to be bigger than the Megalodon, making it a much more fair comparison. This one was an aquatic master that was said to be about 25 meters in length, which is over 75 feet, and that's not counting how perfect its body was for swimming. You see, it did have special flippers that would allow it to blast through the water at good speed, but without making a whole lot of sound. It's perfect for preying upon other creatures. Equally as menacing was its mouth. It was said to have very long jaws and plenty of teeth to fill them up, which kind of sounds like a shark that we know. So yes, if there was to be a close one-on-one -on -one comparison to a megalodon, this one would be a close rival for sure. Number 4. Six Gill Shark now, I'll admit there are a majority of things that are not scary about this shark, including how it doesn't go after humans unless it's provoked. But what I will admit is that the six-gill shark has a body that's known for being a bit bulky. Plus, while it's usually very slow, when it wants to, it's going to blitz forward with impressive speed to throw off its prey and then snack on them. Yet, what's more terrifying is that they're the widest distributed shark in the world outside of the Great White, meaning that you could run into them just about anywhere and die Divers have had encounters with them. So yes, it's not as scary as the Megalodon, but it does have its merits. Number 3. Anomalocaris Meet the Anomalocaris, which, believe it or not, is not the Greek word for unusual shrimp. Shrimps are creatures that we usually think about in terms of what we're going to have for dinner, not what creature we have to look out for in the deep. And yet, in the ancient times, this one was a feared predator. Plus, they were truly jumbo shrimp, even growing up to be about six feet at times. Their bodies were incredibly capable of catching prey, which included having spikes across their various segments and having front arms that they could used to get their prey. Oh, and they were strong swimmers as well, so they could be quick and vicious. Be grateful the shrimp of our world are much, much smaller. Number 2. Sarcastic Fringe Head don't let the name fool you, because this thing is very freaky. The saltwater fish may not seem like much at first, but when coiled up, it resembles a regular fish, sometimes even being brightly colored. However, when threatened, it opens up its massively distended mouth and becomes something out of a horror film. What's more, the sarcastic fringe head is actually a very territorial creature, and it's been known to wrestle with its own kind in order to ensure that its home isn't invaded. Now, I kid you not, they have epic mouth battles in order to try and see who will come out on top. This is one of those evolutions, in regards to its final form, that you'd likely wish never happened, and yet it did. Could you just imagine the Megalodon having an even scarier form? Number 1. The Great White Shark 
So we'll end on a shark video with a shark. Because if Megalodon is the apex predator of the ancient waters, the great white shark is the apex of the modern waters with no doubt. Ironically though, they are not related at all. You would have bet that they were, I'm sure. But there are some very key differences between these two apex predators that shows off that different lineage. Such is how the great white shark is known to leap out of the water to get its prey and then slam them down to stun them. If the megalodon did that, it would probably cause a tidal wave. Also, their thinner bodies are more streamlined so that they can chase down prey more easily. And unlike ancient waters, the only things that these sharks need to worry about are killer whales and dolphins. And also, Jaws was well more terrifying than the Meg, so I'll just leave it at that. That's all from the realms of the deep to find out if anything was truly scarier than the Megalodon. Were you amazed by the creatures that were on this list? And which ones do you feel really are scarier than the Megalodon? Or perhaps this giant shark is just too much to handle. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.